Cool. Next, let's go back into our photos tail view controller. Okay. So instead of these to do's, let's delete that. Okay. Now we can say that we want to our data source to be a list of photos. So here I will have a mark here called data source. Okay. Now the tail view data source here, the first one is let's I will delete this warning over here. Okay. We will just return one because this one we still have one section. Next, the number of rows in section. Okay. Number of rows in section. So I will return photos dot count how many photos we have inside that next we have override table view cell for row at index path cell for row at index path we also have to specify this cell we will use the same cell but we also want to change this photo so this to do because we don't want to display to do anymore so let's have let's photo to be photos of index path dot row now I hope that you notice the pattern here. We have an array of our data source. Whenever we want to access one single element, we use the index. Whenever we want to um, so we, uh, create that cell, then we have to use self or row and index path. Okay, the same pattern. Now next, we have to configure the cell. But the cell right now, it just have a very, very basic um, title like this okay a title like that we don't want to just have that how about for this first first version of the photomania app we want to have a uh, the thumbnail image and also we have the caption the small caption next to that okay so I will go back into the main storyboard here we go in the main storyboard opens up the uh, inspector like that okay like this then if you look at this, this prototype cell is just the very first, the custom uh, is like we have a lot of types of prototype cell. If you click onto the table view cell, we have the style, we have basic, which is the one that we are using right now. Just have one title. Okay. Next, we have right detail, which is like the contact app. We have that detail over there. We have the left detail exactly the contact app we have the subtitle the subtitle maybe you have username and the caption but usually this is just very 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 basic ui element of a tv so it's built in we don't have to do anything else but in the next video in part three of this four part training series we are going to teach you how to display very the beautiful design of the prototype style like custom cells we have big image profile image view a lot a lot more okay just follow with me because i know that it is hard it's going hard for you i know that because when i started like this it's just so many ideas and terms and concepts packed together inside one project but just get along just practice just practice the way the reason why i designed this series like that we do a to-do list app and then goes into the photomania app and then we move along you will get yourself familiarized with this one i know that at this time you're still watching this you set yourself out as the top one percent of the developers in the world most people don't spend the time to learn this stuff they just want to be the next facebook but they don't want to run the miles but i respect you that you spend the time to learn like this so just honor yourself honor this process okay so now i want to change the image of this one how about we want to change it to t1 the thumbnail the first thumbnail okay so let's go back into the photo oh we should change the style to basic like that okay so let's go back into photo tail view controller now we have the text label we use the photo dot caption which is the caption that dummy text next we have cell dot image view dot image to be the ui image named with the name of the photo dot uh, thumbnail image name like that then guess what we are good to go so let's run let's view and run the project 
here we go drum roll please nothing happened well why is that nothing happened okay so let's see now there's nothing here inside our tail view there's nothing here we implement i believe that we implement everything correctly of these ui tail view data source methods so how about let's test this let's make sure that we test it correctly so in the tail view number of rows in section i will print the number of rows photos that count here okay so let's just try to see how it looks like okay the tail view appears and wow we don't have any rows that's why it displays a bunch of zeros in the console like that what happens it means that our data source is not correctly implemented okay this data source so there must be something wrong with this we don't have any photo at all so there must be something wrong with the photo dot download own photo i hope that by now you get you figure it out so i will click into this download own photo okay and it says here it relates to these initial these warning also so we have an array of empty photo and inside this loop we have create some random photo but we don't do anything with that so what we want to do is photos dot okay photos dot append this photo then we are good to go so now let's run it to see how it looks like and hopefully it works and yes it works okay cool so now if we do print this guy out print photos dot count here then we should have a bunch of numbers over here 10 here we go 